Have you ever wondered what happens behind the scenes when you click pay on a website? Especially if you are buying from a company halfway across the world. It feels instant, but under the hood, banks, processors, foreign exchange conversions, compliance checks, it's a global relay race. And if you are a business trying to accept that payment, it's even worse. FX fees, payment failures, five day delays, you are suddenly dealing with three banks, two processors and a stack of regulations just to get paid. In this video, we are breaking down the modern global payment stack, explained like a system designer. We'll walk through how money actually moves across the borders, what the legacy mess looks like, and how next-gen platforms like AirWallex simplify it all, with API-first architecture, real-time FX, and compliance built-in. Quick heads up, this video is sponsored by AirWallex. As always, all my opinions are my own. Let's dive in. Let's start with how payments used to work. The traditional stack. You would think swiping a credit card or tapping buy is a simple act, right? But behind that click is a maze of moving parts. First up, the checkout interface and payment gateway. This is the moment you enter your card details. The gateway is like a secure digital courier. It grabs your info, encrypts it, and safely hands it over for further processing. Next, we have the payment processor and the card networks like Visa or MasterCard. The processor reaches out to your issuing bank, the one that gave you the card, and basically asks, can this person afford this? If the bank gives the thumbs up, the transaction is approved. Then on the other end, there is this acquiring bank. This one works on behalf of the business you are buying from. The merchant has a special account with them, called a merchant account, where your payment is temporarily parked Eventually, that money settles into the merchant's bank account, usually bundled with a bunch of other transactions from the day. It's a whole relay race, just to move your money from point A to point B. Now, that's just a domestic transaction. But when the transaction is international, everything gets more complicated. More parties get involved. Card networks now charge higher processing fees for cross-border transactions. Multiple banks, including intermediary ones, handle the currency movement. And on top of that, compliance checks kick in for things like anti-money laundering and international fund flow restrictions. Say you are a UK-based business and a customer in the US places an order. The customer pays in USD, but your account is in GBP. So your bank auto-converts the currency. Later, when you pay a US supplier in USD, you convert it back. And that's double FX. And you just lost 3 to 4% of the payment in fees. And that's just one transaction. Imagine doing this across 10 plus countries, each with different currencies, banks, and compliance rules. It's slow, it's expensive, and definitely wasn't built for business operating global from day one. Want to launch in a new market? You'll need new bank accounts, custom integrations, and more tools to manage it all. Every new piece adds overhead, complexity, and risk. And that's the reality of the legacy global payment stack. Too many players, opaque fees, slow settlements, poor visibility, and compliance nightmares. It works, barely, but not for a global internet economy. Modern platforms like AirWallex are changing the way global payments work. Instead of juggling different banks, currency converters, payment gateways, and processors, you get one clean platform that does it all through a single API. You can start accepting payments from around the world, whether it's credit cards, digital wallets, or bank transfers, without needing separate integrations for each region. It just works. Here is something a lot of business overlook. To succeed globally, offering just credit cards isn't enough. In many regions like Southeast Asia, LHEAM, and parts of Europe, customers prefer local payment methods like digital wallets, instant bank transfers, even buy now pay later options. AirWallet supports 160 plus of these local methods out of the box. So when someone in Brazil wants to pay with Boleto or a customer in Germany prefers SEPA, you can offer it instantly. The result, higher checkout conversion. You can hold funds in 20 plus supported currencies like USD, EUR, GBP, AUD without being forced to convert. And that's the power of like for like settlement. If someone pays you in euros, you keep it in euros. Get paid in USD, hold and settle in USD. No automatic conversions, no hidden foreign exchange fees. And when you do need to convert currencies, AirWallex gives you near market exchange rates without the usual marker. 
you can even set rules to control when and how conversion happen. And when it's time to pay out, Airwallex has its proprietary connection directly to local banking networks in 150 plus countries. The result? Over 90% of payouts are routed through local rails, not expensive swift wires. 95% of funds arrive on the same day. And businesses save up to 80% on FX fees, thanks to like-for-like -like settlement and smart conversions. Now, Airwallex isn't just for finance teams. It's built for developers from the ground up. Everything is API first. You can programmatically accept payments, trigger FX conversions, embed local methods, and even issue cards, all with just a few lines of code. The developer sandbox lets you test flows end to end, from checkout to payout, with full visibility into how the system behaves. And with detailed docs and SDKs across multiple languages, you are not guessing your way through integration. You are building fast and with control. So how does a platform like Airwallex actually deliver all this flexibility and scale. Airwallex is built on microservices first model, meaning each part of their system is split into small, independent services. Payments, FX conversion, compliance checks, fraud detection, all run as separate units, written primarily in Kotlin. These services communicate through Kafka, enabling real-time event-driven data flows between components, a critical part of scaling global payments. All of this is wrapped in an API-first interface. So as a developer, you get a clean, well-documented API for everything. Spinning up virtual accounts, triggering payouts, managing KYC flows, it's all programmable. To support global scale, Airwallex runs on Google Cloud across multiple regions. Payments get routed to the closest region, like Tokyo, London, or Sydney, which keeps latency low and performance high. Under the hood, Kubernetes orchestrates everything. So during big traffic spikes, say a flash sale or a product launch, the platform can automatically scale from thousands to tens of thousands of transactions per second. Smooth, fast, and resilient. Every service operates in secure, zero-trust environment, and data is encrypted end-to-end. -end. Access is tightly controlled, and the platform meets top certifications like PCI DSS, SOC 2, and GDPR. They also use intelligent routing to keep data local. So for example, EU transactions stay within EU servers. Airwallex also uses tools like BigQuery and Vertex AI to analyze millions of transactions, detecting fraud patterns, optimizing payment routes, and forecasting liquidity needs across currencies. It's not just about moving money, it's about doing it smart, fast, and globally. So what's the takeaway? The legacy global payment stack was never designed for the internet. It's slow, fragmented, and full of hidden costs. Modern platforms like Airwallex change that. They give you one clean API to accept payments convert currency, hold funds, and send money across borders. All with built-in security, smart routing, and developer control. You don't need five tools and three bank accounts to go global anymore. You build once and scale wherever your customers are. For developers, it means fewer headaches. For finance teams, it means less manual work. And for your customers, faster, smoother payments in their local currency. And if you found this breakdown useful, give it a like and share it with someone building global products. And if you are exploring modern payment infrastructure, try spinning up your first global account with Airwallex. It only takes a few minutes. Links in the description. Until next time, keep building and keep shipping.